Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this quick clip. Peace. Dallas County Grand Jury has returned an indictment against Amber Geiger. We were determined to present to this grand jury all of the facts and to clarify for them the law so that they could make the decision they thought was right and just on behalf of open. I am indeed satisfied with the indictment for murder of Amber Geiger because I truly believe that she inflicted tremendous evil on my son. He didn't deserve it. He was seated in his own apartment. He felt safe in that apartment and he was violated by her coming in and murdering him. So from the very start, I knew that she murdered him and I was not satisfied at the manslaughter charge. I look forward to the next step, which is a conviction of murder of Amber Geiger, and more so of a penalty, the proper penalty that will cause her to reflect on what she has done and the pain that she has caused not only my son, but my family, my church, my country. So I'm depending on you to continue to rally with us as we seek continued justice for him. Thank you. Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. This is going to be a quick report. So as we saw the first clip of the district attorney announcing the indictment uh, for, for murder and then the mother, whom you can still tell, you know, the pain and the hurt that she and her family and the community and our people in general have experienced as a result of this young upstanding brother getting shot by a cop who claimed she accidentally walked in the, or entered the wrong apartment and somehow the black man ends up dead, right? So we have an uh, indictment, but the question is, what will the conviction be? And really, you know, when a person takes somebody's life unjustly, Really, per the scripture, their life should be taken an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But, and really, there's no pain that Amber Gaia could face that could be Equated for what she done, you know. When we when we take the life of someone unjustly, the universe, the heavens, and the earth cries out for that life because that life was created by the Creator, right? It's, it's it takes extreme difficulty for one of us to even make it into this life. We defy the odds by the trillions. So no matter what color we are, each one of our lives are precious in the eyes of our creator. But we don't see each other as precious, right? We become boastful. We become arrogant. We become proud. We become cocky. We become haughty. We think that our wealth, our materialism, our knowledge, our vanities make us better than the next person. And that is <laughs> as far from the truth as east is from west as we are from the sun. Little it is we give thanks for the life that we have been granted. So when we take the life of one of God's 
uh, greatest creators, with the, which is the human being, then our life deserves to be taken. Now, in a system where it goes to a jury and a decision is rendered, then, you know, a person may get away with some degree, right? They might not face the full scope of their consequences, but that, man, you can never uh, escape that in the higher court of our creator, right? So none of us today get away with anything that we do of wrong towards each other. And, you know, it's sad because people, we do wrong to each other. We have evil intentions toward each other. And we laugh about it. We, we're jovial. We're happy for suppressing and oppressing another person or hurting another person. And it's really sad because the creator, you're just storing up. That recompense, that negative recompense that will be served to, if not you, your offspring. So, you know, may our creator be with this mother. May our creator give her peace and solace and joy. Even though she lost her son, he lives on through the struggle of the onward liberation of our people. People who die in righteousness don't die. They give fuel for the fire of freedom, right? They give fuel for the injection into the hearts and the minds of the young people who are fed up with tyranny and oppression. Huh? Think not of those who are dead as dead. Nay, that we, we perceive it as such, says the script, scripture. Oh, no. Brother John is alive in the hearts and the minds of so many. So, you know, uh, you know, may our creator be with this family, with that community, uh, as you know, the young brother is missed. Obviously, you could tell by the mother's expression, you know, and to take, I mean, you know, unless we walk in people's shoes, we truly, we truly can't feel the pain, especially when as a mother, you birth, you give birth to such an upstanding young man per what so many people testify of him, you know, and then some ignorant person out of their bestial actions takes the life of one whom is revered by many. So, uh, you know, let's see what will come as a result of this indictment. I don't really get excited like a lot of people when there's an indictment because it's like, okay, that's good, clap. What is the conviction going to be? You know what I'm saying? And even if the conviction is not proper, she's still not going to get away with it in the ultimate grand scheme of things, right? So, you know, we think we get away with our little evils that we do, but it just goes up into a higher court of law. <laughs> and uh, the divine judge and jury render their decision, right? So uh, that's just my few thoughts about that. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.